Well, it's not just us here in Wisconsin that dealing with this big issue called weather. Blizzard conditions continue out east where there's anywhere from 16 inches to around two feet of snow in some areas. Casey Geraldo is at Mitchell International Airport where the travel boards are full of delays and cancellations. That's right, Charles. I talked to tired, fed up travelers whose flights got very complicated by the snow. Some of them will get where they're going today, but others continue to wait. It's an optimistic tune. Maybe a bit too optimistic for people like Sean Langer. I basically came into the storm and now I'm going back into it. Langer was supposed to have job interviews in Milwaukee, but the snow had other plans for him. I ended up missing all the rounds of my interviews. He's hoping his woes end tonight with a flight scheduled to land in Pennsylvania around 9. But Angel Hamilton doesn't know when she'll get a break. It's just stressful. And now I'm just find myself standing in front of the board and just looking at the sign that says canceled on it. She drove through yesterday's storm from Michigan's Upper Peninsula to Milwaukee for today's flight to Baltimore. It was like a delay and we actually had to sit on the side of the road. Now, like many others around the country, she waits. I have no idea when I'll get out of here. No idea. I'm hoping it's sometime soon, but something tells me it's not going to be till tomorrow. I also headed over to Intermodal Station downtown to check on buses and trains. Amtrak tells us they did have a minor delay this morning on a train to Chicago, but other trains have been running on time. As far as Greyhound buses, they said some buses this morning had minor delays, but none more than a half hour. Live at Mitchell International, Casey Geraldo, today's TMJ4. All right, Casey.